In this video, I'll show you how we can fix number format exception. Before that, we have to understand what number format exception is. It is trying to show us that our application tried to convert a string to a numeric type, but it's not in the appropriate format. So let me give you an example. Let's bring in our scanner. Let's call it KBD, new scanner, system.in. And we write uh, two numbers, we input two numbers. So number one, the first one, integer dot parse int kbd dot next. So that would be our first input and our second our second input will be number two. It is the same like the other one kbd dot next and let's try to divide these two and to output the result of their uh, division the division of number one and number two let's do this by bringing in another variable uh, we could say uh, yeah, result number one divided by number two so we can use system without dot format so that we can format our output we can just do like this okay so number one number two and our result and we shouldn't forget to close okay so now if we run this code we'll be able to divide two numbers so we can divide for instance number two with a normally it's supposed to be also a number but in case if we put a the the exception that we'll get will be number format exceptions exception and this will trace back uh, to our line 11 our second line here that we put a so which is not a number so to be to be able to catch this exception we can do try our try catch we can write our try catch here and here we can uh, put number format exception and usually here we have to put the by convention the abbreviation of it so nfe and we're going to catch it and then we're going to handle it how we're going to handle it so instead here we can write invalid format so now if we run our application and if we put number 10 and e for instance we will get an invalid format so we don't have the number uh, format exception anymore that means we are handling it we can also use different ways uh, we can also uh, trace the ear by using our abbreviation nfe dot print stack trace as you can see here and this one will result into showing us the source of the error and it traces it for us one more way is we can also use a git message method that one will throw a the default message of the error 
here we check number five is you then here it will show us for input string u this will be the default message so this will be the way we handle our exception number format exception